Uh, the board is three and three quarters of an inch wide and five eighths of an inch thick. Uh, you can use, you can also make it half an inch thick. Now uh, let me get closer here. Uh, I've marked down the middle and then made marks every two inches also as you can see. Now uh, you must be wondering what that's for. By using a one and three eighths of an inch Forstner bit I shall be drilling holes every two inches. I'm done fashioning the handle brackets and I've attached them already to the main tray. I also mitered the corners of the main tray. Uh, you may notice that there are some gaps here but that's okay because I'm going to be covering this up with a top frame. 
Now, luckily, I had this leftover half round lying in my pile of junk, and I didn't have to break out the lathe anymore, so I just cut this to length and then glued two pieces together, and this is what I ended up with a three and a quarter inch dowel. And then I got a sized washer bigger than the dowel itself, at least 1 16th bigger all around than the dowel, and fashioned these pieces using my disc sander, and then glued one on the end of the dowel. And as you can see, it's decorative and it also allows the handle to float which is fine and then I cut it leaving at least one thirty second of an inch so that when I put the other washer it will have room to play and it will float I've cut out the top frame which will cover the top right here and uh, I've also cut out the slats already and sanded them. This will be the flooring of the tray. Now, uh, the last thing that I'm doing is I'm going to miter the molding that I'm going to put here. It's just a simple molding, it's geometric. I'm going to dry fit it right now. Uh, give you an idea of what it's going to look like. Have the slats right here. I'm just eyeballing the spacers, the spacing between slats. I don't, I don't need to use any spacers anymore. It really doesn't have to be even. I'll just eyeball the thing. Well, like I said, the reason that I want to have space between slats is so when something drips or something, I mean the tray doesn't collect water, it just falls within the gaps if something liquid spills. There you are. Now the molding that I've made, I already snuck in the in-betweens right there. Needs a little bit more tweaking because it's still long, but that's going be that's fine. I'll tweak that later before I varnish the thing. Now for the top frame. Now the top frame has a quarter of an inch overhang, that's why I wanted to put the simple molding to make things look even, bottom and top, and it is flush 
on the insides of the tray here. It's flush. There we go. And the handles, of course. I will be gluing later on these washers. Uh, here we are. I just finished gluing everything. And uh, I'm pleased with the handles. They're floating, which is what I like. What I'm doing now is I'm just killing, doing some sanding and killing the corners by using my block plane. I'll just give it one heavy coat of, just one heavy coat of spar varnish and uh, the wood will darken so no need to stain it. Uh, I hope you build one if you feel up to it. And uh, thank you very much for watching.